And then how estimation? How estimation? Usually the guarantee, guarantee between customer, the ship owner, shipping company, and shipbuilding company. One of the main items is the speed of the ship. Speed is very important for ship owner and shipping company. Then to meet that requirement or contract performance speed. As you as a designer, you need to calculate the speed. But there is no ship at there is no ship yet, right? But you need to calculate. So we call this is an estimation. estimation. Not the calculation. Very similar, but different. Estimation, there is an uncertainty. Many uncertainty there. I want to I want to build my home after marriage, right? Then what can be, what can be your home, sweet home? You may expect uh, dreaming, but you need to calculate the money it costs, right? It is another kind of estimation. So power estimation is important. So then you need to decide which engine should be used for the design of the shape to make the speed of say 25 knots. It's not easy, right? Anyway, you need to, you should do that. You must do as a design. So you, you, we need to study about it. And then model Bayesian theory. So because it is a very complicated one, so that in old days, from the old days, they make a small size ship and then test in the uh, swimming pool. It's like a swimming pool. But it's, it, it still have a problem. We cannot, because it is small, small scale uh, model, we need to extrapolate the, uh, so then you need to, uh, uh, Experiment by by getting some coefficient, some numbers by measuring uh, resistance of like, force. Then you need to extrapolate to the say full size. But it still has a not easy. So that's why we are talking about dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is non-dimensional analysis, right? non-dimensional analysis, and then ex extrapolation to full scale. That is about dimensional analysis. And then ship resistance prediction. So power estimation and resistance prediction is closely related. So resistance means you are running in, inside the pool. Force you are uh, feeling is the resistance force. Powering is the engine size, engine size. Because be between engine and resistance of hull, there is also propeller, uh, engine, propeller, and then speed to against the race. So it's a, a series of uh, actions and, and calculations. <clears throat> we'll see. So how big is a ship? Uh, it looks like a bulk carrier for me. But anyway, 500 meter at that time is biggest ship at, in the world. And Maersk uh, container ship of 400 meter. And, and 63 building is in Seoul. But it is already a smaller one. Now we have a Lotte. Lotte is the biggest one in Korea, Seoul. It is about 105 floors, something, on the street, something. And I, I know that that building is about 500 meters now. So I need to exchange this figure. And Boeing, Boeing is big one, right? 747, it's only 70. And this one, this one shows a map of a kite. Where is it? This is a uh, main auditorium. There is a gymnast gymnastic sports center. And then, right, 
set is here. And this is field, field for football and baseball. And this should be the library. So between, this is mechanical engineering building, something. So between them is 400 meters. So if you bring that ship at KAIST, it can be a very big one, right? How efficient transportation? If the size of the ship is big, the transportation efficiency is also big. So cargo capacity is proportional to cubic of length, roughly, because capacity is a volume. Length, length, length is volume, right? And resistance is proportional to uh, scale of length because it usually the skin skin area skin area of the ship is related with the resistance. Not only uh, skin area, but roughly, roughly. So that if we increase the length and size of the ship, the resistance increase scale scale, but volume is cubic cubic, right? So it's a it's economy of scale is full size model for testing cannot be built for a large ship right? because the ship size is 500 meter. We cannot make that model for testing, and also there is no facility to test it. The only way is the final uh, delivery test at the sea. That is the final only one, not only one, but that is the only way to test the full size. So every ship is prototype, but there is also final product. There is a difficulty for shipbuilding and ocean engineering. So we usually have a very small scale for the test. We we'll see in the later stage. And uh, this is uh, Esso Osaka, is a rear ship, rear ship. Length of 350, breadth is 50, depth, depth, power, 35,000 horsepower. Speed is only 15 knots. In terms of kilometer per hour, is 28. And displacement is 31 or 300,000 kilometers. Looks like it's a Japan ship owner. Right. And this one is inside the Eureka building where my office is. This way. <laughs> this way, something. That's it? Eureka building. So sometime you can have a chance to visit Eureka building. You can see this is a model, model that is tested in Samsung Heavy Industry Point Tank is nearby. Nearby, uh, the Munji campus of Christ. Have you been to Munji campus? Yes. No. Yes. On the street. All right. There is another campus of Christ, Munji. Nearby, by driving, it can be only less than ten minutes inside the same city. Another campus, but that campus is originally was a, a laboratory of Samsung heavy industry. Now the heavy industry moved down to another place and KAIST is using that campus, but still they have a small portion because there is a towing tank. They cannot move that towing tank to another place, even though they sell out a larger land size. KAIST. So the, that towing tank is 300 meter long, Swimming pool. And depth is about 10 meters or 8 meters. In that, in that towing tank, we, they, they do the experiment, this one. So if you visit that Yerka building, you see this model for towing tank. And then they are saying this is Samsung Heavy and something like this one. We well, see 
This is a second floor, up to second floor. The size is about 10 meter long. Even though it is a small scale, because this is that is the way they are doing predicting ship resistance. The speed is most important one because the contractors are saying that you should have a this kind of speed. This kind of speed is guaranteed. You should guarantee this and full scale. You should they test. If that speed is not met, contract should be canceled or you may have a big penalty on this. That's a natural. Right? So usually designers put a little bit more power here. Engine, my calculation is need say 30,000 horsepower something, but I'm not sure. I put another level of so we call this is a D, safety factor. Safety factor. So a little bit bigger engine is installed usually. But anyway, you need to calculate as as precise as possible. So predicting the speed of the ship needs to be R10 and no size. <laughs> well, R10 size, we, we should be R10 science together. Still have a difficulty in pre precisely predicting the resistance of given hull at any given speed. So there, in all days, especially in old days, there is no facility, there is no computer. So people are use uh, uh, empirical evidence, just you can say the statistics from model test and then also existing change. Another difficulty is the sea condition, cargo loading condition. And fouling, fouling is a uh, roughness of the skin of the ship. Because if the ship is, say, several years of uh, operation, then uh, shells are attaching to the skin of the ship. And the skin of the ship is not, not clean, right? it's rough. We call this as fouling. And then resistance is increasing. So there is additional difficulties, still is not easy. So in old days, engineers trying to use this kind of coupling of uh, division classification of resistance, frictional resistance, wave making resistance, eddy resistance, and air resistance. Have you been to any onboard of ship? Yes. Then you may uh, see the wave generated by the ship. We call this a Kelvin wave. And also behind the ship, the rough water is operating. Right, right, right. We call it. Uh, where is this? Uh, mixing, mixing water. Turbulence flow. Turbulence. So frictional resistance due to the motion of the hull through a viscous flow. So it is a skin resistance, we call it skin resistance, wave making resistance that must supply to create wave, the ship create wave, we call it Kelvin wave. So the energy is used for generating wave. Eddy resistance is due to the after body, the after propeller, the turbulence is coming, we call it the eddy resistance, and air resistance is due to air. Aerodynamic drag acting on the above water part. So, and then eddy and wave making together, we call this as a residual resistance. This is for model testing terminology. But anyway, they want to divide the different classification of resistance. So, frictional resistance, you know about this if you take a hydrodynamic. Fluid dynamics course. Boundary layer. Have you heard about boundary layer? Yes. Boundary layer. Yes. Okay. Half of it. 
turbulence. Turbulence is a very mixing motion of the fluid. If you uh, have uh, some object is inside the air or water or fluid, then far away, far away is a clean water. No, no, no disturbance. Right? So because of the object, there's a turbulence is coming. So that boundary layer, you can say this is a affected region of the fluid that due to movement of the object. The other way is, is, is okay, but, and also there is small disturbance of the fluid line. And the far away, far away, there is no, no movement at all. So we call this is uh, some kind of boundary. And then the after body, there is a mixing is very com complex. So we call this is a weight region. And also there is another point of separation. separation. So water is uh, not, not attaching to this point. So that eddy is the road eddy means a very rotating water there. So pressure distributions, the pressure is different, and body acting against the motion. We call this a formula of this question. Airplane, airplane is flying. How they fly above the because of the high weight. Have you heard about how the airplane is flying? Somebody can answer. From the shape of the wings. Like shape the, of the wings. Uh, the air is faster on above the wing, thus creating like lower pressure, and like the higher pressure below the wing pushes the. Right, right. Uh, because of this, say, if the wing shape is like this one and water is flowing in this way together, then this portion is higher speed than this portion, water speed. Then the pressure over here, higher, higher speed is lower. Then the pressure from bottom is higher than the top. And integration of these pressures, the lifting force is coming. That's why we are flying airplane. Right? So pressure distribution is important. So because of the evil, uh, curved shape of the water, the speed is a little bit higher than pressure is low. Fluid mechanics, you may learn more. And then drag coefficient, so that Aerofoil, aerofoil is smallest. And then what is the biggest? Oh, prism is highest, right? 1.14 drag function. 0 0.045, how many times? How many times? 50, 50 times? Zero? 25? 20 times, 20 times higher drag force. So in the swimming pool, you may be a blunt body. You run this way, right? If you run in this way, sideways, maybe better, right? But fish is more better, fish, fish shape of the fish. So fish like our shape is better than your body. Your body may be something like this one or something like the coefficient is very different. Kelvin waves. So there is a ducks are swimming here, ducks. But it's same as a ship, the generating wave, like this, as same as a duck swimming. So we call this, Kelvin may be the name of the engineer who, who identified this kind of phenomena. And he measured the angle already. Very, very 
typical shape. Yeah. So angry sin. But right, and below and the other ones, and also there is a turbulent uh, wake zone, and, 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 and also there is a storm wave. In any case, who, who make that wave? The object, the dog, or ship, right? And somehow they spend energy to generate wave. So we call this wave generating resistance. Detail phenomena can be very complicated. Bulbous bulb, bulbous bulb, like this one. The idea of bulbous bulb is trying to cancel that wave by using two different wave generation chains. Without this one, the ship generate wave, Kelvin wave. Right? But this one is also because of this very big and blunt body, that one also creates a wave. If somehow you design well, the wave crest and something will cancel out each other. So without bulb, or oh, this one is bulb, without bulb, and only bulb, they generate different wave, and then they are canceling each other because the uh, high position and low position is same period, same time. So canceling effect is the purpose of the so wave making resistance. The wave must be overcome gravity. So, so they use energy. The bulbous wall is trying to cancel the wave of each. That is the idea, but it is not easy. Not easy because because the draft line of the ship is moving, and also there is a motion, and also there is a wave. So if this is car motor and same speed, then we can make a cancellation, ideal ideal cancellation. But in reality, it's not uh, easy. Right? There is a video. Then. There's no sound. This is a uh, model testing. Usually they make a uh, ship with the wood, and then there is a carriage, uh, the towing tank. There is a moving part on the on the rail. This is a rail, and both sides of the swimming pool there is a rail, and then over the bridge there is a, a towing carriage is mo moving by using a motor. Then they pull pull the uh, ship. By using a, a, this kind of a device, and then they measure the force and acting on the uh, point, point, point force is measured, and then there after that they need to calculate to find out total resistance of this. So <laughs> with the, this kind of model, you need to test hundred times, hundred times of what? Different speed, different several speed, and also different uh, draft line, cargo loading position, and also sometimes they need to calculate motion at wave. So without wave, with wave, different speed and different uh, draft lines, and sometimes they test with a stream. Stream is uh, like this one. Front stream or back stream. Ah, sound was not. Okay. All right. That's it. Question. No questions. Then we now move on to scooter. All right. All right.